full disclosure, one of my best friends has a Skoda Superb and he is always banging on about it. So I was really interested to drive this wagon this week and see if it's as good as he says it is. I'm in the 162 TSI, which is middle of the range in the petrol version. Let's see how it compares to an SUV. The superb wagon looks good. I mean, I've never really been into wagons, but I can totally appreciate this one. The curved lines at the front and the elongated body make it look sleek, and it just works in a really 2018 modern way. Inside is just as stylish. The Skoda comes from the same family as VW and Audi, so it's got the design expertise, but it's not as over the top, and I really like it. The leather on the seats feels fab. I've got it in black, but it comes in this really lovely tan color, and that would be my pick. They're also heated and cooling, and the back seats can be heated too. The steering wheel is leather, and it feels great under the hands, which I always find makes it a pleasure to drive every day. Plus, everything looks luxe. I like the shiny console, I like the metal accents. The Skoda Superb is right up there in the looks department. Driving is so smooth, it's positively creamy. It's got enough power to get me up hills. I can zip in and out of traffic really easily, safely, of course, but it just gives me the confidence that it's gonna do what I tell it to because the handling is spot on. It's a front wheel drive. You will have to go one up in the range to get an all wheel drive, but I still found it had enough traction on the road for me. Uh, it does have a bit of a large turning circle though, 11.7 meters kind of expected on a wagon though. Parking is a breeze with a very clear reverse parking camera and all kinds of front and rear collision warnings and if you're really you know feeling lazy this car will park itself. But the reason we're all here is for the boot space, right? Because the Skoda Superb wagon has a whopping 660 litres of boot space, which is more than most mid to large sized SUVs. So you'll get all of the size of the boot of an SUV, but you won't get the bulk or the height. With all the seats down, this space grows to 1950 litres. So you can like pop a bed in here. Traveling in the Skoda Superb is really comfortable. I'm 161 centimeters and I can fit easily in the back. Even my 185 centimeter husband could fit comfortably in the back. So obviously my two children aged four and six had loads of room back here. There are air vents for rear passengers, plus it has tri-zone climate control, which means you can actually control the temperature yourself. We've got two cup holders back here, two in the front, a spot in the front to throw your keys and your phone, plus it has a large centre storage bin that actually has a fan in it so you can keep stuff cool. Look what I've just discovered, an umbrella and a bin. So this is like one of my favourite features. Ta-da! The boot opens by itself. And it has all the new safety features you'd expect of a car in 2018, like blind spot monitoring, auto emergency braking, lane departure warnings, and even a fatigue detection that monitors your grip on the steering wheel that will beep when you start to fade. It also has nine airbags and is one of the only cars I've tested that actually has side airbags, not just side curtain airbags which cover the windows. The multimedia system looks quite flash, but it's actually really easy to figure out. You just pop in your cord and you've got Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which means you've got your Spotify and your maps up there. CarPlay will even read out your text messages to you while you're driving, which is so great. The Skoda Superb 162 TSI has essentially made me a wagon convert. I like the fact that you can get a sleek car with a huge boot space that serves families really well. It's practically just as luxe and it's just as stylish as its flashier European competitors. I gave it a family rating of 8 out of 10 because I think it's a really great option for a five-seater. My children also gave it 8 out of 10. They love being able to climb into this big boot. 